Hey, we're in Santa Barbara today. Get out your cameras. Who's ready to go on a photo walk? Come on, let's go. But first, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the bell for the latest updates to the Photo Walks channel. I'm Jefferson Graham. I am your photo walk guide for today's episode. I am a lifelong photographer, writer, and video maker. My aim with the Photo Walks channel is to take you to great places and to show you great spots, how, when, and where to get them. So come on, everybody, it's photo walk time. I figured we'd start our photo walk here on State Street, the main area that runs from one end of town all the way down to the other. Lots of stores and really cool old buildings. Let's go explore it together photographically. So walking down State Street, I see a whole lot of stores selling jeans and shirts and stuff like that. And I don't really care about taking their pictures, but this I do care about, the San Marcos building. This is the first building that catches my eye. I love some of these carvings on the wall like you don't see everywhere, not in my town. How about yours? The beauty of the photo walk experience is looking out for the hidden gems with your camera eyes open, documenting the details you just might skip otherwise, like all those old Spanish style tiles all over town. In this episode, we're gonna visit the tourism board and look at their images as well as the Instagram feed for Santa Barbara. And I'm gonna really go through some of these photos and show you how, even if you can't match what they've got, at least get a little closer than you were before you saw this episode. Stern's Wharf. Yeah. Mm -hmm, Cause you can look back and you can see all the coast of Santa Barbara. So let's go, continue down State Street all the way and you'll end up at the wharf, the top tour spot in Santa Barbara. It's home to shops, restaurants, and a long boardwalk for cyclers, walkers, and the like. Many locals recommended the view to me for sunset overlooking the marina. What do you think? Photo walk alert, you will not get the sunset in this direction overlooking the more dramatic California coastline on the other side of the pier. Locals recommended more dramatic sunsets in Goleta Beach, which is about 15 minutes up the coast. However, the wharf is fabulous for morning sunrises, as in this time lapse. So when checking out the postcards and the brochures, most of the imagery is of the water in the wharf, which is fine. But for my money, I like these really old buildings because I think they pop. They are unique to Santa Barbara. And photographically, that's where my heart is. How about you? Courthouse and the view from the courthouse, yes. Uh, it's just stunning. The weather is beautiful. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. What else do you want? The highlight of any Santa Barbara photo walk, hands down, the Santa Barbara County Courthouse. This old building is full of old detail, nooks and crannies, amazing things you want to come in really close on. They don't build buildings like this anymore, folks. And you're going to want to take the elevator to the top floor to see the killer 360 degree view of Santa Barbara. This is the best view in town. Free deal, no admission. Fourth floor, closes at five. Got the Riviera view right here. You see some green grass down there. Got the Mission in those hills. Let's cut across and you can see downtown. There's the Granada Theater, the library across the street. State Street's right on the other side. The Arlington Theater is up the street. And now let's go down here towards the water, which is called the Ocean View. This is where you can see the Riviera, the real Riviera of Santa Barbara. This is the shot that most people identify with Santa Barbara, those red roofs, you get it from the ocean view angle. Up here, people love to pose for selfies and shoot panoramas of the view. Remember to keep your feet firmly planted on the ground and follow the white line for your pano. The Mission on State, um, yeah, that's also one of my favorites. I was born and raised here, so. Oh. I'm from Russia and it was my favorite movie show from my childhood. And now we're here and it's kind of a dream come true. Beyond reliving a soap opera that ran from 1984 to 1993, well, the old Santa Barbara Mission, circa 1786, is just a colorful, detail-rich gem of a monument to see. But photographers take note, there are strict rules about what you can do and not do. That said, when we visited, everyone, everyone had a camera in their hands and no one got bothered. Just don't expect to get away with it in a big white wedding dress and a tux. 
Let's break down those Instagram moments as portrayed on the tourist brochures. Despite what we saw at the mission, most of those photos were taken on one of these, a drone. They were clearly done by pros who are licensed by the FAA. Now, drone use is legal in certain areas. First of all, you cannot fly near the airport. You're in good shape if you're in downtown Santa Barbara by the water because the airport is quite a ways away. For recreational use, use common sense, please don't shoot over people's heads, over moving cars, or higher than 400 feet, and be careful. And as far as the official Instagram feed, we're talking about sunsets, sunsets. Now this is my kind of shot, looking for the detail that is Santa Barbara. Now I love this putting the flower in the foreground and having the mission moodily out of focus in the background. Smartphone users can replicate this with portrait mode on their iPhone. Beyond State Street, there's a new hip area of town called the Funk Zone. It's chock full of wineries, eateries, antique stores, and the like, and a lot of old warehouses that have been reconverted. Also cool backdrop material in the Funk Zone as well. For years, ever since Julia Child said that this little tiny Mexican hole in the wall was her favorite restaurant in Santa Barbara, well, there's been a line out the door to get in. And we agree, fabulous Mexican food at La Super Rica and terrific photo ops too. Finally, do know that hotel rooms in Santa Barbara are really, really expensive. Good luck finding an affordable room. We were able to score a deal at the Upham Hotel, a charming B&B just off North State Street, right behind the historic Arlington Theater, the perfect spot for a Santa Barbara photo walk weekend. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap for our photo walk from Santa Barbara. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please share, please comment. Do me a favor and subscribe. Stay tuned for more photo walk videos. We have over 30 of them, mostly in the Southern California area and other environs like Tokyo and Kauai. And I'll just make it a surprise. Go, over, go out and check it out. Uh, next week, we will be in Laguna Beach, which has arguably the finest and most dramatic beach in Southern California. Let's see if you agree with me. I will see you next week. Thanks again for watching Jefferson Graham.